Software that is getting slower and slower and just stops working under heavier load. Upset customers, overwhelmed service desks and puzzled administrators. Does that sound familiar? The problem? Insufficient planning and analysis before the implementation of software. But both are essential for building successful software systems. We will demonstrate the usage of Palladio on an example system that represents a media store for uploading, storing and downloading different kinds of media files. We have already modeled the different views with which we describe the media store system. The first of these views is the repository view, in which we find the interface and components that we need in our system. For example, we have a file storage component which we can use to store the media files. We have a media access, which gives us access to the file storage and the media management component that gives us access to the media system by an iMedia management interface. We have several interfaces which are required and provided by the different components and by which the components can be connected. We have also modeled two alternatives for a cache. All the components have service effect specifications for the operations they provide, which define the resource demands of the operations which are used for performance simulation. In the second step, we have modeled the system in which we define how these components are connected. In the simple case, we particularly have the following components. The file storage for storing the media files, the media access and the media management component, which is connected with an interface of the complete system. In our case, a web UI with which we can access this media store system. In the resource environment view, we have defined the different resource containers that we use to deploy our system. In our simple case, we only have two resource containers, which are an application server and database server, and a description of their network connection. For the simulation, we have also described the behavior of users that interact with the system. For our example, we have modeled that users download files in 80% and upload files in 20% of their interactions. The size of the files is specified via distribution functions. We can now start the simulation. The software does not need a functioning implementation for the simulation. The analysis only needs an architectural model. With virtual users, Palladio tests how the system will behave under realistic conditions. The advantage? Bottlenecks and performance problems are discovered before your users experience them. When the simulation is finished, we can see the results in our experiments view. For example, the usage of CPU, HDD and the network. Also, the response times of the different calls are measured particularly the entry-level system calls, which describe the download and the upload function of our web UI. We will now take a look at the response times of the download function, displayed as the cumulative distribution function. There, we can see the probabilities to have a response time less than a specific value. For example, we can see that 90% of the download operations took less than 3.8 seconds in our simulation. We have also simulated the performance for a system that includes additional caching for the media files, for cases where users request multiple files at once. For this cache, we have actually modeled and simulated two implementation alternatives. Palladio allows us to compare the distribution functions of all three variants of the system. In this comparison view, we can see that while one of the caches, displayed here in red, does not perform better in a definite way, the second alternative, in green, clearly improves on the cacheless version. Thank you for watching our demo video. If you want to find out more about the Palladio simulator, visit our website or feel free to contact us directly. You can also find more information in the Palladio book that appeared in MIT Press in 2016.